It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Real Madrid facing Celta Vigo. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of the ball. Oh, Derek, there's a chance here. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Vinicius Junior. Benzema takes it forward now. The supporters want to see him have a go. Terrific block. Aris Seferovic. It's with Iago Aspas. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Can they forge ahead? He's got to score! Well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. Did well to win the ball back. Carvajal. Modric. Gabri Vega. Vega. Well, he's given it away. Karim Benzema. Modric. Now with Benzema. Can he give them the lead? And into the net, a goal from Luka Modric to give his team a lift. Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here deal with the danger otherwise that's the outcome not good enough defensively and the match back in business Real Madrid with the advantage Javi Galan Gabri Vega. Well, strong play here. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Tony Kroos. And fed forwards. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. And the keeper's hand does the trick. There will be one minute added on at the end. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Oh, yeah. And Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu.
It did look on for them, but not to be. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Vinicius. Here's Modric. Is it going to be? It's opened up for him. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. So, 2-0 now. Perez. It's with Oscar. De La Torre. Promising attack, this. Could pull one back here. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Defenders need to cover. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly red. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Great pressure to win the ball back. Could be a goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Just 15 minutes remaining. And he read it well defensively. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. Fran Beltran are still pressing for a goal here, but the danger averted for now. Well, it's not quite in the books yet, but almost for Real Madrid as they try to see it out. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Might be able to produce from this position. Chance to cross. And there's the full-time whistle, maximum points for Real Madrid. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. Luka Modric tends to bring a calm authority to any game. How would you sum up what he produced? Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. 
that was an impressive performance today.